that you have to it. And whenever you have a cap on something, then you have to know when that cap is applied in which period. Software is really useful to do this. The manual payroll gets a lot more difficult given the fact that no one individual part of payroll is really difficult. But when you put all the things that they want you to do together, you have a complex system. Right? You now have something that's now complex just due to the many moving parts. So then the Medicare is usually going to be a more of a flat tax too. It's usually going to be the employee portion, the gross pay times 0 0.10145. But we kind of messed it up in one of our practice problems that we want to line this one up to. So I'm going to mess this one up in the same way. I'm going to double click on it and we put an extra zero here, I believe, to make it seven. That's not going to mess up anything because it's just a practice problem here because we're not getting exact on what the actual taxes are. But realize that one should be more of a flat tax. It should be an easier one to calculate generally as well. If I go then to the Erica, Erica is going to be our other uh, employee. She's going to make 2400 the FIT, once again, we're going to assume we get from the W-4, which we're going to say is 360. And then we're going to say the Social Security is going to be the equal to the 2,400 times the 0 0.062. And then the Medicare, we're going to say is equal to the 2,400 times the 0 0.0145. So that means that they're going to get, they earned, for example, Adam earned 4,583, but then they're going to be taking from them, we will take from them, or we will never give them. In other words, we will withhold part of their earnings, not because we get to keep it, but because we have to pay it on their behalf, in theory, to the government, the, these amounts, FIT, Social Security, and Medicare. So you can calculate this this way. You could say, I want that 4583 gross pay minus the FIT, federal income tax, minus the Social Security, minus the seven Medicare. Or I can do it this way for Erica, for example, equals this number minus the sum this is a more elegant calculation this is a little bit more impressive minus the sum of these three closing it up same thing so that means that each employee this employee erica is going to earn 2400 even though she did